Greetings, salutations, hello and welcome. Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Deep Dive. Castor here. If you guys still remember what we saw on the last episode, we were swallowed by a giant whale, we found Pinocchio and Geppetto inside of the giant whale monstro, but we also met Riku. And Riku was not quite himself. You could say he was starting to be somewhat corrupted. And that's what dealing with the powers of the darkness does to you. We even saw a point where Sora draw his weapon and turned against him. Before we proceed, you can see we're back in Traverse Town here. And I was just doing my homework and taking care of some preparations for the next pieces of the story. And I bumped into this. I'm not sure if you guys recall because we've been doing things pretty fast here, but there was a empty lot in here. It was just an empty space and now there's a house. And if you look up, it says Geppetto. Yes, Pinocchio and Geppetto survived after being sneezed out of the whale and they reached Trevor's town. Let's visit them. Pinocchio? Hey, it's Sora. Well, hello, Sora. How did you get here? A man named Leon helped us. He even got us this house to live in. I don't know how I'll ever repay his kindness. Say, I hear you three are fighting the Heartless. I thought I might be able to help you, so I made this. Obtained Geppetto. For us? But of course, Pinocchio and I can't thank you enough. We'll do anything we can to help you. Alright, so Geppetto will start giving us some blueprints for gummy ships. See there, he's studying them and building stuff. So once in a while he gave us blueprints. It doesn't mean we can use them because we're still required to have the necessary gummy pieces and some of these ships require lots of materials, but yeah, he'll give us some blueprints once in a while. Ah, Sora, look what I've cooked up this time. Taint said. Cactuar. Yuffie. There you go. Thanks. Boy, you have a lot of time on your hands, huh? Maybe I can make a better ship for you someday. Please visit anytime. Nuku would be glad to see you too. Thanks, Geppetto. What's this? Oh, we got another Keyblade. Though we won't be using it because we already got the ultimate weapon for the playstyle that we're aiming for. We can just equip it to see what it looks like. But Pinocchio, how are you doing? I'm being good, even without Jiminy's help. That's good to hear. So guys, let's just see how the Wishing Star Keyblade looks like. Very basic. It's a piece of wood, just like the stuff Geppetto builds. Another thing that you might notice is that now we have three slots for equipment. We had two before, but when I was leveling up out of the recording time, I gained a level that granted me an extra accessory slot. Where we're we going next? Other things I've noticed is I've been talking with Sid. You guys will see in a moment what we cooked up. It's been a while since we're using the same equipment with Donald and Goofy. And I think they deserve better. We've been getting lots of money, so we might be able to buy something. Hey there, um, what do you want? Uh, I'm here to shop. What do you have for me? Aha, uh -huh. weapons. So, this is a large shield for defense. And this is a small, powerful shield for attack. I think we're good on the attack side, we're pretty strong, so let's just ensure Goofy is our tank. Pretty soon he'll start getting abilities that allow him to support the team, so we want him to be alive at all times. Now for Donald, there's one that reduces his max MP and that is crazy, we don't want that. But then there's this one that raises his max MP, so let's grab this weapon for him. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. I mean, you should provide family discounts, but thank you. Uh, so, say goodbye to this shield. Yeah, there it goes. Once we're in battle, we'll see how Donald's staff looks like. Now it's time for us to board our gummy ship. Oh, did you get a glimpse of that? We have a new gummy ship. I actually got an upgrade on the amount of gummy pieces that we can use, so now we have a pretty powerful gummy ship again. And again, we're specially overpowered and ready to face whatever there is in this direction, which we're going right now. Hmm. 
look at how intense the second laser is. Monster's gone. Let's go before he comes back. Yes, let us proceed. Onward. Atlantica. That's a new place. Very blue, very suggestive. So let's disembark. Okay, guys, prepare for landing. Land where? In the sea? You'll drown. Not with my magic, we won't. Just leave it to me. Oh, now we'll finally start seeing the few things Donald can do with magic that we can't. Oh, that's very, very good. That is great. Come on, Sebastian! Ariel, wait! Slow down! Don't leave me behind! <laughs> Oh, relax, Sebastian. They don't look like one of them. Right, Thunder? I don't know. There's something weird about them. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Mm, they do seem... a little different. Where are you from? Uh, we're from kind of far away. And we're not really used to these waters. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I see. In that case... Sebastian can show you how we swim around here. Ariel, can you try to run that like this? Oh, don't worry. Easy for you to say. Okay, it's time you learn how to swim properly. Use the left stick to swim around, press circle to rise, square to dive, release them to stop rising or diving. Yes, guys, so we are in a world that is 3D. Practice swimming with flounder. Try to tag him. Alright, begin! Wait up, Flounder. Let me see where you're going. Okay, so basically you press the same button as jump to rise, and the button to dodge and defend is the one to lower yourself. We won't be defending ourselves in this place, so what we can do is get out of harm's way. Sebastian! Eh? Aquatic Heartless. <laughs> what can we do with these? Yeah, we can pretty much kill them in a single strike of fire. This is a place where we'll probably be using lots of magic. You might notice that the enemies are dropping tons of magic. And there's a reason for that. It's way easier to aim your attacks if you're doing magic that has a homing feature. Hey Ariel, I took care of them. Wow, nice job. Thank you. Can we open this? Oh yeah. Yes, we can. Hey Flounder. Hey Sebastian. Hey, save point! Those creatures chased us here. Oh no, those monsters might be heading for the palace too! We better head back right away! But, but what if we run into more on our way back? I'm sorry, but we need your help. Please come to the palace with us. The trident markers on the walls point the way there. We won't get lost as long as we follow them. Okay. Let's get going. Sure, we can escort you. Ariel, I think you might take Goofy's place. You're a magic user, aren't you? So, follow the tridents. Undersea Valley. Atlantica. 
that is a large place. Just this little piece of the map is already pretty massive. Thanks, Donald. This is the largest map and pretty much the largest world we've seen so far. Well, this thing won't open. Examine. Hitting it won't open. How about magic? Yeah, it's a red clam, so let's try fire. That did a trick. Metroof shard. Right, let's just move on, right guys? So this is the trident and trident. Let's follow all the tridents. And more tridents. And more guys. Yeah, I don't think we have to worry about saving our magic. I can just... Oh, look at that. Oh, there's a strong current here. Not enough time. Oh no, we're heading the wrong way. Oh. Let's look for tridents. So there are places where the water currents are too strong for us. And we will be pushed away. Sometimes not in the direction we want. That is good to know. We already back here, so let's try that again. At some point we probably have to find a way to traverse this. But for now let's just take the right turn here. See more dudes and get rid of them. Oh, this one probably pushes us upward. And we saw a little geyser on the upper level. So this will probably put us back on that big map. Oh, hello. Yeah, I won't play with you now. Sorry, guys. We can do this little dance later. So let's look for the tridents. Well, right after we take care of these guys. I think we're good. I think we might be... Yes, Trident's Palace. I was wondering if you guys would show up. You guys are being followed. That was too close. As long as I have my trident, I will not tolerate those creatures inside this palace. Daddy? Oh, Ariel! When will you listen? It's dangerous out there. Oh. Strange creatures lurk outside. <coughs> Behold, you sweep before the ruler of the seas, His Majesty King Triton. And who are they? They helped us fight off those creatures. They don't look familiar. We're from an ocean very far away. Yup, yup. We came to find the keyhole. The what? What's that? <laughs> There's no such thing, certainly not here. But Daddy! Ariel, not another word! You are not to leave the palace. Is that clear? Poor Ariel. She just left the palace though. Perhaps I'm being too straight. I'm just concerned for her safety. Of course, Your Majesty. But we must admit, now I'm quite curious about this keyhole. That need not concern you, Sebastian. Have you anything to report? Just as you suspected, Your Majesty, they seem to be coming from Ursula's Kurato. I knew it. That sea witch is up to no good again. I see exile from the palace has taught her nothing. Yes, she poses serious danger. And I told you to keep Ariel away from such danger, did I not? Your Majesty, please hide them. Triton, you gotta chill. So let's disobey Triton's orders and leave the palace again. The only place we can go, right? Right outside. Let's see what happens. Come to my grotto. I want to show you something. There it is, see? Oh, a dolphin! Hello! Oh, there is a big guy here. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Thunder Gem. 
That's a rare one. Guys, you, you can help me. Ariel's Grotto. <laughs> That's a light stone? The cave. Look at all the wonderful things Flounder and I have collected. I think it's all from the outside world. Someday, I'm going to see what's out there. I want to see other worlds. Does that sound strange? No, not at all. I used to feel the same way. Bruh. Used to? I mean, I still do. Hey, why don't we try looking for the keyhole you were talking about? But your father said... Oh, he treats me like a little girl. He never wants to let me do anything. He just... He just doesn't understand. Well, that was Sebastian. He's no longer there. He overheard us and left. Oh, this one looks... yeah. Ariel, I know we've been collecting this and it's super precious for you, but do you mind if I steal some of those? Some of these are actually useful and not exactly for you to just leave them dusting. Cottage... yeah, you could, you could keep this one. <laughs> we have enough cottages. But do you have anything else here? Uh, oh, there's another one here that looks... yeah. Horn page. Oh, we can go and visit Pooh again. Wonder, have anything to tell me? There's this really big fish who can swim against the current. But he. So if we chase them away, I think the big fish will play with us. Maybe if you grab onto him, he'll take you somewhere. Ha! Huh. Yes. Thank you, Flounder, for basically spoiling the entire mystery of this world. Let's go see where the big fish is, A.K.A. The dolphin floats him and jets him. Everyone heard our conversations. Ha! Those impudent fools will never find the keyhole. But the girl could be useful, and I've got the heartless <laughs> on my side. Frighten, my old friend. <laughs> Your day is coming. <laughs> Creepy. The camera angle certainly sold her creepiness. Hello? What's this? It's stuck in the hole. How can it be pulled out? Well, can we use anti-gravity on it? I mean, this is gravity. It will just make it even more stuck, I guess. Alright, so this is the dolphin. Hello! But I don't think this is the one that we should interact with. This is another place with strong currents. So let's get rid of these dudes and see if we can find a dolphin. Oh, there you go. That's a very good tech to level up. Lucky you. Oh, materials! Thunder Jam. Okay, oh, hello. Get out of here. So strong. Oh, dolphin! Hang on. Are you gonna take us somewhere? Maybe? Hopefully? We're going down. Yes! This is the current. Oh, nice! Let's look for treasure for Ariel's collection. Can we head inside here? Nice. We've got company though. Uh, that looks like a trap. A fruit shard. Where's the music? Thanks, camera. Let's grab this one. Hey, shark. Do you mind if I grab the thing? Yeah, just wait outside. Ah, alright. Oh. Mm. Its shape reminds me of something. We, we just saw it, Ariel. Obtained crystal trident. We literally just saw it. Let's exit from the side so the shark won't see us. What's... what's that? Hello? Huh? What is that thing? If only I could reach it. Come on, Sora. We can fit in there. Well, we'll see what's that about later, I guess. The water is rippling. Try hitting it. Sure. Huh. My little geyser. Oh, we opened the way. Now there's a neat 
a shortcut back to the sunken ship. <laughs> we can push them down. Oh, wait a sec. So if you kill the jellyfish with normal attacks, it will split. And if you kill it with magic, then it won't. So we definitely want to use even more magic, especially against those guys. It might be a smart move to save a little bit of our magic then, just in case we see these guys. But yeah, we saw a thing that had exactly that shape in here. Let's see if we can do something with that. Yeah, see? Right there. And you guys were like, oh, did we see this before? Neat. Ariel, you've disobeyed me again. I told you not to leave the palace. Daddy, no! How could you? Young man, you're not from another ocean. You're from another world, aren't you? Huh? Then you must be the key bearer. Who did you know? You may fool Ariel, but you can't fool me. You don't know your dorsal fin from your tail. <sighs> As the key bearer, you must already know one must not meddle in the affairs of other worlds. Of course I know that, but... You have violated this principle. The key bearer shatters peace and brings ruin. Oh, Sora's not like that. I thank you for saving my daughter. But there is no room in my ocean for you or your key. <laughs> Triton knows what's up. My, my. The poor child suffers such deep sorrow. What a pity. If only there was something we could do. Wait, maybe she can be of some help. Yes, maybe she can be of some help to you. Who are you talking about? Oh, she would surely help you. She'd make all your dreams come true. That's who can help. You called, my dear. You're Ursula. Well, I was just wondering if... It's all right. Helping others is what I live for. Let me guess. You wish to see other worlds. <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard. After all, your new friends came from another world. What? But they had special help. That mysterious key. <sighs> no, no. Cheer up, sweetie. You have something special, too. Now listen carefully. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Plunder, you really enjoy just standing there, huh? Where did Ariel go? I went to go look for her, but I'm sort of scared. Yeah, I guess these things are pretty dangerous, but not for us. More of you. Yeah, see? So if we kill the jellyfish with magic, it won't split into new guys. I guess we should probably look for Ariel, huh? Let's head back to the palace. I think the keyhole is somewhere in the palace. Now, my dear, if you can take me there without your daddy knowing, I can help you get to these other worlds you long for. Ariel, you're kind of gullible, huh? Oh! Thanks for the gem. Okay, um, let's head to the palace. But Ursula might be there, so let's grab all the MP we can. We need all the little bubbles. <laughs> the trident is mine at last! And I couldn't have done it without your help, my dear. Ursula, no! I didn't want this! Aren't you tired of following your dear daddy's orders? 
Oh, yes. We had a deal, didn't we? Time for a little journey to the dark world of the heartless. We cannot find the deal. The deal is not here. What? Why, we have company. I'm afraid you're a little late, handsome. <laughs> Get back here. The Triker. We must get it back. Come on, let's go. Wait, I'm going with you. My father is hurt and it's all my fault. I have to stop Ursula. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm right behind you, Ariel. So Sebastian's helping us. Thanks, I guess. Ursula draws power from her cauldron. To defeat Ursula, you must strike her cauldron with magic. Huh, oh, thanks for the tip. Well, let's go find Ursula. Oh! Hello! Please stop moving. Oh, more of you. I appreciate the extra survivability. Let's check this place again. If you guys recall, we saw a little thing behind the shipwreck and we couldn't reach it. But we have Sebastian. And Sebastian is pretty small. Can we do anything about this, Sebastian? Isn't there something else you should be doing? You do not know the way. Yes, I do. do you know the way? I know the way. Yes, I do. do you know the way? You do not know the way. I know the way. Come on, this looks pretty suspicious. Need some help? I'll show you how it's done. Thanks, Sebastian. I mean, I kinda already knew you were supposed to do that, but you refused to help the first time. Let's head into the Den of Tides. Oh, we got company. These ghosts are really interesting. They won't attack you if they don't see you. They have little searchlights, and as long as you're far from them, they won't even start attacking. And since we can defeat them with a single strike of our fire magic attack, it's pretty safe to just deal with them from a distance. Oh, the game is already preparing us for the boss fight because we'll need magic. Okay, why don't we head back? There was a fork and we probably took the wrong one, which was still good. We needed the extra MP. Let's see what we have here. We're killing them with magic, but let's at least grab all the bubbles we can. So we're at least... Oh, wait, wait. oh boy, this is very, very uncanny. Okay, so let's get rid of the fishes. Flotsam and Jetsam are really bothersome if you leave them be. So let's get rid of them. They won't die, they just stay put. So, Ursula, get over here. Can I hit you? Apparently not. Triton did mention something about using magic on the cauldron. Can we hit you though? Ursula is pretty resistant against magic, but we can hit her. Maybe we need magic for the cauldron and regular attacks for her. See? Stop moving! It's my time to press buttons. Did this help? Five hours later. Oh! Maybe we have to continuously use magic on the cauldron and then she'll get a little stunned. Oh yeah, this is much better. It's a lot easier now. Let's get rid of her. Oh, she's trying to revive Plotson and Jetson. She just did. One eternity later. Oh, that did a trick. Oh, huh. oh, we're not supposed to beat her. She still had half of her health. Oh boy, we killed Plotson and Jetson. Let's 
Let's go. We must get the trident back. The learned shard ability, Mermaid Kick. To sim faster or against currents, equip this and press circle repeatedly. Alright, let's do that. Our second shard ability, Mermaid Kick. So we're supposed to be able to swim faster. Yes, much better. Let's see how fast we can reach new places. We have to look for a place with strong currents and... Oh, exactly this one. Right there. Let's head that way. With our super fast swimming abilities. Yes, there we go. You're so cocky! Also big. So, so big. Yeah, I am ready. Don't worry. Oh, we can't stay still for too long. We can see these little pieces of light showing up above us. And we shouldn't stay below it, because she's using some lightning attacks. I'll stay just behind her back. Ursula, do you mind? Oh! Uh oh! <laughs> I'm in danger! Yeah, we got it. We know you know lightning. Just get out of here. Let me turn my back on your ugly face. Daddy, I'm sorry. Please, don't be angry with her. It's my fault. You followed Ursula because I wouldn't let you follow your heart. And when you found that crystal, I lost my temper and destroyed it. Oh yeah, the crystal. Why did you destroy it? That crystal held the power to reveal the keyhole. The keyhole is dangerous. I had to keep you away from it at any cost. Daddy... Keybearer, I have one more request. Seal the keyhole. My trident also holds the power to reveal the keyhole. Will you do it? Of course, that's what we had in mind from the start. Where is the keyhole, Daddy? You should know better than anyone. It's in your grotto. Really? Sora, let's go! Attained the power of thunder. Thunder has been upgraded to Thundara. Obtained Ensign's report number three. Oh yes, we have a lot of reading to do. We might save the reading session for a final special episode once we have all of the reports on our hands. But let's just say Ensign has been doing research on Heartless. And not always of the good kind. Let's go find the keyhole. The world is still not safe. Although apparently getting rid of Ursula kind of put all Heartless in sleep, I guess? This is the place. Sora is so strong, he can move that rock. And here we are.
Maleficent can't be too happy about us closing all the keyholes, huh? Tell me, Sora. Your world? What's it like? All about that. Sorry for lying to you. <laughs> it's okay. Besides, if you can travel to other worlds, maybe I can too. So many places I want to see. I know I'll get there someday. I'll find a way, somehow. I'm sure of it. Well, if you find it, do me a favor and leave me out of it. Chills, guys. This is from my collection. I want you to have it. Sora obtained Crab Claw. What is Crab Claw? Well, it's a magic keyblade, but it only raises our MP by 1 and Spellwider raises it by 2. But it's still good because it's physically stronger and has a little bit of a better reach. Each keyblade has a different reach, see? Wishing Star is like crazy short. And this one has a pretty long reach. Slightly more than Spellbinder. But still, magic is our thing, so let's stick with it. But yeah, so that little spiel that Ariel gave us about wanting to see other worlds, it's gonna happen. I can tell you guys, it's gonna take, well, for us, for players, it took like over 15 years. But at some point, Ariel will see other worlds with our help. But okay, I think that's the end of this episode. The world is saved. So we can head toward and on to new world. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Enjoy yourselves, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in Halloween. See ya!